November is the perfect time to get tickets to a great show, and there are plenty of options this month on stage. Theater insider Tim Scott is here to break down his top three picks, starting with Fences. Fences, yes, but first, I was in Italy last week, and I saw Grease, the musical, Danny and Sandy, all in Italian. What was that like? It was all in Italian. It was weird. It's a good thing I knew the story, but to hear right. it all in Italian was quite odd. I'm not going to recommend it if anybody's thinking about going to Italy. Stick to with see. the original? Stick with the original. It's okay. a little more, you know, the one that I want. But let's talk about Fences first at the okay. Kansas City Repertory Theater. Of course, Fences, uh, an American classic written by August Wilson. August Wilson, as you know, he wrote, uh, it's the, the African-American uh, trial through the century. Uh, so he's written one play for each decade to signify African-American life. And this one mm -hmm. takes place in the 1950s in Pittsburgh, one of the greatest American plays of all time. Centers around Troy Maxson right there. And it's kind of his his coming of age story with his son, very much a family drama. And I got to tell you, when I saw this play last week at the Kansas City Repertory Theater, it was just stunning. Jack McGaw's sets were just so incredible. I felt like I was in New York watching a Broadway production. Really? Very, very talented cast. Rufus Burns there uh, plays his son, uh, Corey. Very talented ensemble. A um, couple local actors, some people from out of town. But what a great American play being produced at a very, very high level at the Kansas City Repertory Theater. Disgraced is another heavy hitter. Yeah, absolutely, right absolutely. Disgraced at the Unicorn Theater by Ayad Akbar won the Pulitzer Prize a few years ago as well. And this is a story, it's a very important story being told in America right now about, you know, uh, the, the lead character is from Pakistan and it, it deals with, you know, race and identity and stuff like this. And I was just so impacted by how profound the play is and the story being told is a very important story in America about, you know, Middle Easterners and how they fit in in mm -hmm. America. And, and how he thought he fit in yeah, and that his, changed. His own perception yeah. of himself and, and the pride of being Islamic and how that relates to American society in 9-11. So I got to tell you, uh, a lot of these stories are being told in theater nowadays uh, in, the, in the recent years and the Unicorn Theater puts on a brilliant production of Disgraced, a very important play that runs for a few more weeks. And I was I was impacted by it. I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't know what the story was going to unfold to become, and it was I mean, it was it was very powerful. Marilyn May, that yeah. is going to be a treat. Talk about powerful. Oh my gosh, how young is Marilyn yeah, May? Yeah, Marilyn May is, you know, she's she's very close to 90 years old and she is still performing at an incredibly high level at the Quality Hill Playhouse. She's going to be performing for 5 days. I think she starts tonight and she a goes full cabaret show. A full, you know, she she's been doing it for years. She's been, you know, she was the most uh, seen guest on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, if anybody remembers The Tonight Show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she is still making incredible cabaret. And I, you know, I saw her a few years ago when she was in her mid 80s and the things that she did was Gosh. incredible. She yeah. still high kicks. She has more energy at this time in her life than maybe I've ever had in my life. She's amazing. She, she is amazing. That is a good and you show. know, Alexis, she's she's a Kansas City icon. Right. I mean, she's born and raised in Kansas City. So much of her is Kansas City and the Quality Hill Playhouse is a Kansas City institution as well. So I would I would strongly right. recommend yeah. you get a chance to go see Marilyn May who's been doing cabaret at a high level and reinventing herself for decades, and then see Fences at the Kansas City Repertory Theater, and of course, Disgraced, Disgraced. at the Unicorn Theater. Those are three theater. home runs. Yeah. Theater insider Tim Scott, thank you very much. Thank you.